Hey guys, welcome to our channel. I'm Magdalena from Roberti Magdalena and today I'm going to explain why the head movement in bachata is so important. I'm going to show you different videos of us dancing and we are going to analyze it together. So let's go. So, why is the head movement so important? I think there are different reasons because um, the head has actually a great effect to the whole dance or just in one scene and I think it's really important to understand why that it is very important to practice that and to keep control over your head and where and when to move it. Um, you can give different accents to the dance only by moving your head and I think that's just amazing. The other part of it is that many movements actually start the movement with the head or the movement will be finished by the head. So the head is the last thing that is moving, uh, which means in many cases, if you don't do your head movement correctly, the whole movement will look not complete. So I think this is amazing. So let's start. I brought some videos and um, to analyze them together. So we are going to start with the head movement alone, a solo. So if you just move the head on its own, what impact it has on the choreo maybe. Um, then we're going to continue with the head movement in waves. We are going to talk about head movement in Cambrai and then we are going to talk about turns and how to move your head there. So let's go. So let's start with this, this video. I think here it's very clear because you can see how much the head movement changed the dynamic of the video. You change direction and it's very clear. Let's check the second video. Here um, I'm looking up to the ceiling and at the same moment Roberto raises our arms which I think makes the movement look a lot bigger. Without looking to the ceiling the arm movement would have not such a great effect in the whole video. It gives a little break with the head movement. In the third movement, I'm following the arm with my head. So it gives it more dynamic and makes the movement look cleaner. Imagine I would stare at the camera and make the same arm movement. This would give the whole video a different um, dynamic it would look kind of badass I think <laughs> so here's another example of the same video um, I'm going down and add the head movement when I look up which makes the movement again look a lot bigger and more dramatic as well and here is another example of this same figure actually but instead I just didn't do anything in the dance. I was waiting for Roberto to come back um, and I think you can see the difference of giving a bit styling and head movements um, to the dance. Okay, so let's continue with the head movement in waves. This is super important and I also explain the head movement in the waves and the tutorials how to make the wave correctly. But I wanted to show you some examples how it can look nice and how it can not look so nice because it's actually a big change I think. In the waves it's always the head which starts the movement or which finishes the movement. So that will mean that your movement will look complete or not. Let's check how it should not look. Check this out. In this scene you can see I'm completely confused and I don't know what to do with my head and I just end up doing nothing and then I just change direction. So let's check how it looks when you actually use your head correctly for the wave. Look at this movement where I end the wave with the head correctly. It looks a lot nicer, it looks a lot more dynamic and cleaner. 
there. Okay, here's another example of a wave, but how I initiate the wave with my head. You can give a direction with your head and the body follows you. Okay, so let's continue with the head movement in Cambrai. I need to say this is only for people who are not afraid of having a double chin because it will happen. <laughs> you will have a double chin, I'm going to show you. So at first it's very important that the leader prepares the movement and not just let you fall. You can see how the head is the last thing that is moving, that is going down and is going up as well. But you see, nice double chin. <laughs> okay, this one is actually interesting because you can see me raising my chest, but in one second I stop completely because I remember I must not move my head at first. I have to raise at first my upper body. This is sometimes difficult because maybe you're in a position which is a little bit uncomfortable and it will make you feel that you have to raise as fast as possible and maybe you feel like you don't have the strength in your body to raise in the different way this is often why we start um, moving our head at first or we straighten our whole body and cannot make this nice wave anymore and here in this example you can see how I want to get out of the position because it may be uncomfortable or I think I won't be fast enough to get back to the basic again. So I just do the movement without remembering that you have to raise like step by step with your spine and not all at the same time. Okay, let's talk about turns and the head movement. I think this is very interesting because it can make turns look so much more interesting when you just move your head differently. I'm going to show you examples of head movements you can do. So here you can see in normal turns your head is up. It's nice but it doesn't look that spectacular. And comparing this movement with the other video you can see here well the turn is more complicated already but I look up to the ceiling which gives the whole turn a new dynamic and makes it still look more complicated I think so in the last video you can see how I make a turn and I move my head to one side and I think this is very nice because it gives the turn something smooth and something very dynamic and it makes it look very pretty. So this kind of turn maybe you would choose to dance to a more romantic song or when you want to dance more sensual to give the whole thing a more dramatic but smooth look. So guys, I hope you liked this little analyze of our dance videos. I hope it helped you to understand how important it is to practice the control over your head. Please like the video and let me know down in the comments what you think or if you have any questions left. Please let me know if you like this kind of tutorials and make sure to subscribe. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!